Hey, how's it going? Today I want to help you figure out how you can add and subtract angles. Now, what you'll see is that this usually isn't too much of a problem if your angles are simply written in degrees, uh, but it does get a little bit trickier once they're written in degrees, minutes, and seconds. Uh, then you got to do a little bit more work, all right? So let's go ahead and move on to examples, and you'll see kind of what I'm talking about. So if I have just two regular old angles and I'm adding together, then you really want to think of this as simply like adding numbers. So if I have an angle like 23 degrees plus an angle of 49 degrees, uh, no tricks, no problems. We simply get a new angle of 72 from, you know, adding the two previous. Now, when we have something uh, like an angle written in degrees and minutes, now we have to really put our thinking caps on. This is because you really want to remember that uh, when it comes to minutes and seconds, that they're out of 60. So just as a quick reminder, if you're looking at our, let's see, these are our degrees, our minutes, and our seconds. And here's how they're related. 60 minutes equals one degree. So if you wanna go this direction, you need 60 of them. And 60 seconds equals one minute. So again, if you're going this direction, you need 60 of them. So oftentimes if you need to borrow or do some, subtra some subtraction, you may need to uh, add 60 in there to make it all work out right. All right. Let's do some examples, see how this works out in practice. Uh, now, another good thing that I like to do is actually write them one over another. So I'm really adding these two, but I'm gonna write them like this, 70 and 45 minutes. There we go. That way they're right on top of one another. And I can see here are my minutes and here are my degrees. Starting over here with the minutes, I want to add them together. So two plus five is simply a seven. 4 plus 1 is a 5, and so it looks like I have 57 minutes. Now, if you get a number bigger than 60, what you want to do is take a group of 60 and throw it over into that uh, degree column. This one is less than 60, so I'm going to leave it as it is and now move on to adding my minutes. So 72 plus 70, 142, and those are my degrees, so there's my answer right there. Uh, as another quick example of what I'm talking about with that borrowing process, uh, let's do a really quick one. Let's add 45, 5 degrees and 45 minutes to 5 degrees, and uh, let's go ahead and add 55 minutes. So when I go to add the minutes column, I get a lot of stuff in there. So 5 plus 5 is 10. Uh, five and five, I get another 10. Look at that, I have 100 minutes uh, in that column, which is a bit much. We only want that number to be you know, between zero and 60, so that's a little bit too big. Now I'm gonna leave that there for a bit and just move on. So five degrees, five degrees, 10 degrees. All right, since I have a number that's a little bit too large there, I need to take away a group of 60. So I'm gonna take 100, take away that group, and now I have 40 left. So this 100 is going to turn into 40 minutes. Now, where's this guy go? What did, what did I do with that 60? It becomes an extra degree. So let's go ahead and add one in there. We will say this is 11 degrees, 40 minutes, and that'd be the actual answer to this. All right, let's get into some other examples. Try out some subtraction, see how that goes. Like before, it's probably a good idea to write them right under an, another. That way you can easily group see what you got. So we'll be taking 53 degrees, 23 minutes, subtracting 22 degrees, 42 minutes. Now, as I go to subtract away my 42 minutes, I don't have enough. I only have 23 degrees. So we need to borrow a degree to make that number bigger. Let's borrow one of those. Let's call this 52 degrees and add 60 to my minutes. So if I add 60, that'll be 83 minutes. There we go. So now that I've borrowed that, I have plenty. I can take 83 minus 42, that'll give me 41. And now I can do 52 minus 22, and that'll give me a 30 degrees. So 33 degrees, 41 minutes. And I had to borrow just to make it work out. If you have lots of uh, angles being added and subtracted get together, the process is really the same. Remember that when dealing with addition and subtraction mixed into the same problem, you wanna work these from left to right. Uh, that just makes sure that you follow your order of operations. So for a problem like this, we'll add these two angles, get a result, and then we'll go ahead and subtract this one out, see what that result is after that. All right, so let's 
so 79 degrees, 7 minutes, 4 seconds. We will add to that 42 degrees, 13 minutes, 40 seconds. And we are adding. So starting over here on the right side, I have 4 plus 40, so there's 44 seconds. Uh, 7 plus 13 is 20 minutes. And adding these last two together, 121 degrees. Okay, now like before, if any of these added up to be more than 60, I'd take one of those groups and drop it into the next column. So if I had more than 60 seconds, I'd take one of those groups and drop one into the minutes. So now that we have our result, we can go ahead and take care of our subtraction piece. So from this, we will be subtracting 21 degrees, 21 minutes, and 12 seconds. All right, away we go. So 44 minus 12 gives us a 32. 20 minus 21, ooh, boy, we don't have enough. We need to borrow, so let's do that. We'll grab one of our degrees, so reducing that, and add 60 to our minutes, turning this into 80. All right, now we can subtract just fine. So 80 minus 21, that'll give us a 59 for our minutes. And 120 minus 21, that'll give us 99 degrees. So you can see the key for this is really keeping track of your place values and saying, okay, is this minutes, is this seconds, and recognizing that those are groups of 60 in case you need to borrow for adding and subtracting purposes. As soon as you have that down, uh, it's a pretty simple process and you'll do just fine. All right, if you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.